Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're talking about 32-bit versus 64-bit. And these are options that are available when you're installing applications or choosing a processor for your computer. But before we get into that, if you guys are interested in genuine Microsoft software for a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. So you've probably seen 32 or 64 bit options whenever you're downloading a game or a program. And if you've watched this channel before, you've probably heard us talk about that once or twice. So to answer the question, what is the difference between 62 and 34 bit? A 64 bit processor, simply put, is more capable than a 32 bit processor. It can handle more data at once. A 64 bit processor can store more computational values, including memory address, which means that it can access over 4 billion times the physical memory of a 32 bit processor. Yes, that's just as big as it sounds. So here is the key difference. 32-bit processors are perfectly capable of handling a limited amount of RAM. In Windows, that's four gigabytes or less. And 64-bit processors can utilize much more. Now, another key difference between the two is that 64-bit processors can run 64-bit or 32-bit applications, but 32-bit processors can only run 32-bit applications. Many apps still use the 32-bit operating system simply because its design has been in the market for so long. So that's pretty much all there is to 64 and 32-bit. Most modern computers are gonna be on a 64-bit processor and can run 32 and 64-bit applications, as well as support eight gigabytes of memory or more. So that was a pretty quick video for you guys. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.